Let's talk about MS in data science. So I thought I'll do a series of specialized master's programs that a lot of Indians want to apply to and they don't have enough information about it. And I get a lot of queries on like, you know, what are good schools for data science? What do you think about data science? So I thought I'll just do this series and I want to begin with master's in data science today because it is one of the most popular major among Indian applicants. And one of the simpler reason for that is because a lot of mid-career professionals to upgrade or upskill themselves want to move over to data science. So yes, it is a very popular program, but how to have a competitive profile for it? And who is the program really right for? Are you making a mistake if you're applying for MS in data science? And what are some of the good universities you can consider here? So all that on the other side of the intro, keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nishta Tripathi from 24 North Star and Scholar Strategy. Today we are talking about Masters in Data Science and I will be covering two points today. Number one, who should apply for data science? Number two, what are some of the best universities to study data science, not just in US, but globally? Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the information here and hit the like button if this video is of interest. Let's get started with who should apply for data science. Now, people who want to be a data scientist will obviously consider this program and this actually involves heavy use of machine learning, statistical analysis, data visualization and programming. So a master's in data science basically focuses on training students in the skills which are needed to analyze and interpret complex data sets by training them on these technologies that is ML, stats, etc. So data science has a fair bit of programming or Python scripting involved. For example, if you look at the curriculum of master's in data science at Columbia, you will see hardcore courses like machine learning, algorithms, stat courses like probability and statistical modeling and ton of electives in both these areas. Now, if you do not like the programming bit, you just want to work around data and understand its business use cases, a better course for you would be business analytics. I would cover this in detail in another video in this series. Now let's look into what are the best universities where you can study data science and I'm going to cover few different countries here. So data science has boomed a lot in last decade. As per LinkedIn, there has been a 650% growth in job postings since 2012. And going forward, we expect a 28% increase in data science jobs by 2026. So no wonder all countries and major universities have started offering the courses in data science. But now I'm going to tell you some of the top ones. And these include some of my favorite ones as well. Let's start with the biggest country, of course, United States, which I call is the data science powerhouse. The average fee uh, that you will pay for a master's in data science in US is somewhere around 50 to $60,000 per year. An average salary that you can expect as a data science graduate is somewhere between $80,000 to $125,000 per year. Remember, this is for freshers I'm talking about. Now let's look at universities which offer great data science programs in US and there are so many. Starting with the most competitive ones, Stanford has a MS in stats with a data science specialization. Harvard has a MS in data science. In Ivy Leagues, we have Yale, UPenn, Columbia, even Brown University that offer a variation of MS in stats or data science kind of courses. Somewhere it's more engineering oriented, somewhere it's more math oriented. Apart from this, we have University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, University of Washington, Seattle, Duke University has a MIDS, an interdisciplinary data science course. NYU has a very competitive MS in data science program, UCSD, USC and even University of Minnesota at Twin City has a very good MS in data science program. If your profile is more on an average side and you go, want to go slightly lower in the ranking, then here are some more options. This includes University of Maryland at College Park, TAMU, Penn State University, University of Rochester, CU Boulder, Indiana University at Bloomington and Northeastern Universities. All these offer a special data science program that you can consider. Now let's move to the second country which is United Kingdom in my list. And here you can expect to pay an average fee of 
ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पाउंडस पर ईयर ऑन योर मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम विच रफली एक्वेट्स टू अराउंड थर्टी टू थाउजेंड डॉलर्स टू फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर्स बाय द वे बिकॉज दीज आर यूजअली वन ईयर मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम ओनली सो दिस इज योर फाइनल फी नाउ द एवरेज सैलरी दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट फॉर डेटा साइंस फ्रेशर्स ईयर इज येस लोअर Uh, it is around thirty-five thousand to forty-five thousand pounds per year, which equates to forty-four thousand to somewhere between fifty-seven thousand dollars per year. So yes, as you can see, it is fairly less compared to United States. Top five universities where you can do a master's in data science in UK include the very prestigious University of Oxford, which has a master's in social data science program. Then you have University College London, University of Edinburgh, University of Manchester, and King's College London, which offer you the normal masters in data science programs. Since a lot of you are also interested in Germany, let me talk about that. You can expect to do a masters in data science with a negligible fee in Germany because most of these universities charge uh, just some administrative fee, like. 150 euros or 600 or 500 euros per semester or maybe sometimes in total so the tuition fee is absolutely negligible and the salary that you can expect for data science freshers in germany varies from 48000 euros to 70000 euros which translates to 52000 to 76000 dollars which seems to be better than united kingdom salaries some of the universities that you can look at here is obviously tu munich which has a fairly good data science program then we have ludwig maximilian university of munich rwth aachen karlsruhe institute of technology which has a strong focus on applied research and industry collaboration university of stuttgart offer a rounded data science program with a focus on both theory and practice and we have humboldt university of L berlin as well so five or six institutes here that you can check out now let's move to europe union in general so non uk non germany uh, options in europe Here you can expect a average fee of somewhere between ten thousand euros to forty five thousand euros per year, which translates to eleven thousand to fifty thousand dollars. Average salary for data science freshers here again varies from country to country. For example, Switzerland would be on higher side where you can command a salary of sixty thousand euros to ninety thousand euros per year. This is almost like you know sixty five thousand to ninety eight thousand US dollars. So very comparable to United States. And on the lower side, you can have something like Netherlands, where you can get a salary of thirty-five thousand to sixty-five thousand euros per year, which is around thirty-eight thousand to seventy thousand US dollars. Some good universities that you can check out in Europe Union are ETH Zurich in Switzerland. which is known for its engineering excellence but it also has a very good data science program fee here is almost 40000 swiss francs per year so that is on the expensive side in europe other than that you can check out tu delft which has a very practical approach to data science fee is around just 10000 euros per year then you have hec paris in france has a good data science program for business and the fee here is fairly expensive around 26000 euros per year and lastly we have university of helsinki in finland which is known for its research in artificial intelligence so that also offers a competitive data science program the fee here is around 15000 euros per year so lot of options in europe now let's move on to asia and my favorite country singapore Here you can expect to pay an average fee of thirty thousand to fifty five thousand Singapore dollars, which translates to around twenty two thousand to thirty three thousand US dollars. Average salary that you can get here again is somewhere in between sixty thousand Singapore dollars to hundred thousand Singapore dollars, which translates to around forty five thousand to seventy five thousand US dollars. So somewhere in between, better than UK maybe, but lower than. United States obviously and two good options here in Singapore are NUS which has a proper masters in data science and machine learning course other than that i did not find a lot of masters course but you do have a bachelor's degree available in data science at Singapore Uni Institute of Management so do check those options out if you want to stay in Asia now i'm going to cover the last country on my list which is Australia and average fee here is around 
in australian dollars 35000 to 50000 australian dollars per year this comes to around 23000 to 33000 us dollars and the salary that you can get as a data science fresher would be somewhere around 52000 australian dollars to 94000 australian do dollars per year which comes to annual salary of 35000 to 62000 us dollars and some of the universities that you can check out in australia i have five here number one is university of melbourne then you have university of sydney then you have monash university australian national university which is a research intensive university but it has a good reputation in data science and lastly university of queensland which offers a strong focus on data analytics and machine learning so these are some of the countries that you can explore if you want to build a career in data science a quick conclusion here you can see that if you want to pay really high and also get the highest salaries then us is the place obviously the number of jobs that you can find in us far supersedes uh, maybe even combined number of jobs found in many other countries so us remains the powerhouse but yes whether you can afford it or not is the question apart from that there are actually pretty good data science options all around the world as we have covered if you really don't want to pay anything but want to get a decent salary germany is a great option if you want to do a quick one year program uh with a with a mediocre salary i think the uk the big problem there is number of jobs which are available and also the lower salaries europe union other than that like you know lot of options there you have to evaluate pros and cons based on each individual country and of course if you want if you have that european charm you want to explore multiple countries then eu is the place to go singapore doesn't have a lot of options to be honest about data science right now and australia is i think for those who really don't want to go to the west for some reason or want to go to australia for personal reasons maybe they have relatives there or they are looking at immigration possibilities etc in that case i think australia can be considered so yes if you're interested in data science lot of exciting options out there i hope you found the video useful let me know in the comments and also do tell us what other program should we cover in this series so yes looking forward to your comments and feedback and i will sign out now but i will see you guys next week with a fresh new video until then take care bye bye